Hi guys, it's Melissa from Vibe Yoga. Today's practice is on yoga for clarity. It's part four of our six part series on yoga for going through a change. And today's practice is going to focus on going inward, focusing on that third eye, that place of intuition, and seeing if we can start to listen to our own intuition and see what it's telling us. 2020 vision ain't much missing. Two eyes blurring, but my third eye didn't. thunderbolt position. So in this position my toes are touching and my butt is kind of sitting between my heels a little bit. So you can see I'm sitting right back here. If this is uncomfortable for you and you have a block, you might want to use the block at any level to raise that up and sit on the block. Give a little bit more uh, relief to your knees or you can just come into a regular seated position. Let's start by taking a few deep breaths here. Palms can face up or down. Down if you want to feel like you're grounding more. Up if you want to be energized more. And we'll breathe in deeply here, keeping that nice long spine. Nice long exhale. Slowing down the breath and begin to focus on that space between your two eyebrows, right in the middle of your forehead, your third eye. See if you can focus your in energy on that space there. And set an intention for the practice. Maybe an intention around trusting your intuition today. And let's take our hands and start rubbing them together nice and vigorously, getting them nice and warm. And then we'll place them over our eye sockets here, feeling the warmth of those hands, focusing on that third eye region, and we'll take two more deep breaths here. Take one more inhale here, and as you exhale, let the hands come back down to the knees. Gently opening those eyes, we'll come forward to hands and knees. It might feel good to pat out the feet a little bit, maybe even curl the toes up a little bit. Get those palms right underneath the shoulders, knees, right underneath the hips, and we'll work through our cat cow. Inhaling, drop the belly, gaze comes forward. Exhale, curl that tailbone. So again, in our cat cow, it's like a wave moving up the back, starting at the tailbone all the way up through the head. We'll take a few extra cat cows today, following your breath, connecting that motion to your breath. Exhaling into cat, inhaling to extend that belly into cow, two more, and let's inhale to that neutral spine. Curling the toes, getting strong through the arms, pressing back and up, creating that nice long line from our tailbone to the top of our head and start pedaling out those feet in your down dog. Let's 
Let's take two more breaths here. Really focusing on loosening up the hamstrings today, pushing through those heels. And on the bottom of this exhale, we'll bring the feet to the front of the mat. Inhale to flat back. Again, focus on getting this nice hamstring stretch here. Exhale, forward fold, and we'll inhale our arms out and up into standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Moving through a couple of sun A's here, we'll inhale, arms up. As we exhale, we'll lean over to the left, keeping a nice long torso. Inhale through center, exhale to the right. Inhale with a slight back bend, and as we exhale, we'll fold all the way forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Plant the palms, and we'll step back into our plank. Dropping the knees and keeping one long line from the knees to the top of the head. We'll lower all the way down. Inhale into a baby cobra and let's hold this for three breaths. So in your baby cobra, your work is being done by your lower back. You should be able to lift those hands off the ground so you're not pushing, but you're contracting that back to lift up the upper chest. Let's take one more breath here. Inhale here, and as you exhale, push through those arms, hands and knees, pushing back to down dog. And at any time in down dog, there's always an option to drop into child's pose throughout the practice. One more breath here. And on the bottom of that exhale, we'll bring the feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Nice stretch on the hamstrings here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, hands to heart. Another sun A with that side bend. Inhaling, arms up. Exhale, bending over to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale to the right. Inhale through center, a little bit of a back bend here, and exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift, plant the palms. Exhale, step back, you can drop to the knees again, or this time see if you can lower all the way down with one nice long line, all the way to the ground. And we'll inhale again into our baby cobra. Two more breaths here. As you exhale, we'll push back, down dog. It might feel nice in your down dog to lengthen the width between your feet. It might feel nice to bring them together. Just play around today. Really listen to what your body needs today. Get into the practice of following your intuition and following what feels good for you. And on the bottom of the exhale, we'll bring the feet forward to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Take one more inhale here. And as we exhale, we'll let the arms come down, palms face forward into our mountain pose. And take a moment here just to shift the weight side to side, front to back, lift up those toes, spread them nice and wide, shoulders are nice and broad, inhale to get taller through the top of your head, exhale to relax those arms down, engaging the core, nice active mountain pose here, and connect again with your intention. We're going to do an energizing breath movement here. So it's going to be a three-part inhale followed by a big exhale. So it goes like this with the breath. It's a, like you're sniffing in. And we're going to attach some arm motion to that. So as your first sniff, you're going to sniff your arms up in front of you. 
Then your arms are going to come out to the side. And then your third sniff in all the way up overhead. And as you exhale, we're going to let it out through the mouth, bringing the arms back. So it's a sniff in, 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 exhale. Let's do it five more times. back up to mountain pose. Breathe here. Focus on that third eye and feel how energizing that breathing motion is. Let's inhale those arms back up. Exhale with that side bend to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, slight back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, plant the palms. Exhale this time. You can do knees, chin, chest, or we will do our chaturanga halfway down. Inhale, up dog. Thighs stay off the mat, the up dog. Feel free to take the baby cobra here. Exhale, hips come up and back, down dog. Plant into that left foot. We'll inhale the right leg up and back, and we'll exhale, stepping it all the way forward between the hands, low lunge. So give yourself a moment. Make sure that right knee, uh, foot is right below the right knee. Engage through your core, and we'll inhale our arms up into our high lunge. Option to drop onto the left knee. Breathe here. My pinkies are turning inward, giving me that nice width in my shoulders, and I'm really pushing through my left heel, so my left leg is very active here. Inhale, and as I exhale, my left foot comes parallel to the back of the mat, opening up into warrior two. My right knee is externally rotated, so we don't want it dropping in. We want to stay nice and wide on these hips. My gaze is over those right fingertips. Two more breaths here. Inhale, straighten through that right leg. Hip comes back. I'm going to reach forward with that right hand as far as it will go. And then as I exhale, drop the right hand. Left arm comes up to the sky. Another good place to use a block under that right hand. Really focus on that stretch in the right hamstring under here. You want to make sure you're not hyperextending that knee. You're keeping a little micro bend there and you're getting a nice deep stretch on that hamstring. Breathe into that hamstring. Chest is turning open. One more inhale here. Exhale. And we'll bend back into that knee, inhaling back up through warrior two, bringing both feet to the front of the mat preparing for our wide-legged forward fold. So inhale here, engage the core, slight bend in the knees, and we'll fold all the way forward into our wide-legged forward fold. Adding a twist to this today. So we'll take a nice inhale here. As we exhale, walk that left hand over towards the right foot. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale the right hand all the way over to the left foot. Inhale, left arm comes up. Exhale to the right. Inhale, follow your breath. Exhale. One more time on each side. Inhale, that left arm up. Exhale it back through center. We'll turn our right foot back towards the front of the mat, come up on those left toes. And we're actually going to hop the left foot forward like we're preparing for warrior one. Engage your core, we'll come up here. Straighten through that right leg. Take your left foot forward as much as you need to get that left hip parallel with the right. Let's inhale our arms up overhead, keeping that right hip back, forward fold into your pyramid pose. 
Another good place to use a block here. Again, being cognizant that we're not hyperextending that right knee, so we're keeping a little bit of a micro bend there, but we're really targeting this right hamstring. So take some deep breaths into that hamstring and see if you can release into this posture. Two more deep breaths here. Just notice if you're clenching any muscles that you can release a little bit more of today. I'm going to bring a slight bend back into that right foot. My weight comes forward to the right foot, and I'm just going to step the left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhaling, arms up. Exhale, leaning over to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, slight back bend. Exhale, forward fold. I'm going to come to the other side of the mat just so that my back is not to you here, but basically we're just doing the same thing on the other side. Let's inhale, halfway lift, plant our palms, step back, and as you exhale, lower down through your vinyasa. Inhaling through up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, hips lead the way up and back, down dog. So this time we'll inhale the left leg up and back. And exhale, step that left foot all the way forward. Give yourself time to make sure it gets right underneath that knee. Get your balance here. We'll inhale up into our high lunge. Again, option to drop onto that right knee. Breathe here. Pushing through that right heel. Feeling that stretch in the front of the right hip. Nice and long through the torso. Two more breaths. Inhale, and we'll exhale. Right foot comes parallel to the back of the mat, opening up into warrior two on the left side. So this time I'm thinking about my left knee externally rotating and grounding through the outer edge of my right foot. Gazes out over those left fingertips. Two more breaths. And we'll inhale. Feels nice to straighten through that leg. Hip comes back, leaning forward and letting that left arm come down. Right arm comes up, triangle. So same thing here, just like the other side. Make sure you're not hyperextending that left leg, but you're targeting that hamstring. Your chest is nice and open. And you can use a block here as well, if that feels good. Let's take two more breaths here. Bend into that left knee, come back up through warrior two. Feet come to the front, wide-legged forward fold. Slight bend in the knees, nice straight back. Exhale, forward fold. We'll do that same twist, but this time we'll hold it on each side. So I'm going to walk my hands over to the right, hold on to that right toe. You can always just keep the hand in the middle as well. And we'll inhale that left arm, that right arm up to the sky. And let's hold this for three breaths. Inhale here. Exhale, right hand comes across to the, and inhaling that left arm up to the sky for three breaths. Trying to keep a nice long line in my spine here, nice straight back. Inhale here, and we'll exhale back down through center, coming back, bending into that left arm, left leg, warrior two. Pivoting forward, we're going to step that right foot forward, preparing for our pyramid pose on this side. So again, we want to make sure that right hip is parallel to the front of your mat. Getting nice and tall here, and as we exhale, we'll fold forward, letting the arms come down, making sure we're keeping that little bit of a bend in the left leg, but getting a really big hamstring stretch here. Again, feel free to use a block if you have one. And breathe here.
trying to keep that right hip on the same plane with that left hip. So bring drawing that left hip back. You can feel that intensifies the stretch on the left leg. Let's take two more breaths. And on an inhale, I'll bend slightly into that left knee. And I'll exhale to step the right foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Nice job. Let's work into a balancing pose here. So give yourself a minute just to feel the ground below your feet. Spread the toes nice and wide. Shift the weight forward and back. Really get a feel for where you are in the ground. We'll shift our weight over into that left leg. And we'll start with the arms. Inhaling the arms up. As we exhale, that right arm is going to come under the left. Almost like you're giving yourself a hug. And then we'll bend those arms up. So the back of the palms, uh, the back of the hands are touching. And then if possible, maybe you can bring them all the way around so that the palms are touching here. If not, you can keep them right here. Engage your core for your balance. Shift that weight into the left foot. We'll come up and bring the right leg over the left. And then again, if you can bring that right foot all the way and hook it behind the calf, you can get there. If not, you can keep it where I'm going to end up here or even bring the toes to the ground for a little bit more balance. Once you're in the pose, find that dristy. Engage your core. See if you can sit back into your eagle and bring the arms up a little bit here, stretching out that upper back, breathe. And we'll inhale, release, bring it to the other side, shake those legs out a little bit. So this time, We'll bring the arms up and we'll bring the left arm underneath the right. And then see if you can bring them all the way around or keep the backs of the hands together. Bring that weight into the right foot. Inhale the left knee up and over. See if you can curl it all the way around. Get your balance. Sit back and inhale those arms up a little higher and breathe here. If you lose your balance, just get right back into it. One more breath here. Inhale, release, shake it up. All right, let's come back to the front of the mat if you're not already there. Coming right back into our sun salutation, inhaling arms up, exhaling forward fold, inhaling flat back, plant the palms, step it back, Optional vinyasa. And exhale to down dog. And let's take five breaths here to bring that heart rate down so you can stay in down dog. Or feel free to drop to your knees and sit back into your child's pose. If you're still in down dog, go ahead and inhale down to your hands and knees and exhale back to child's pose. And then we'll gently walk the hands up to the body, sitting back on our knees, swing those knees around to the front. And gently working our way down onto our back, keeping our knees bent here. Preparing for our bridge pose here. I'm going to encourage you, if you do have a block, to use it here for a supported bridge. But first, let's all do a regular bridge together. Take a nice inhale here. Make sure the knees are facing up towards the ceiling. You want to make sure the hands are close to touching the feet so they're in close to the body as much as is comfortable for you. 
Inhale here, exhale to ground that lower back against the mat, and then as you inhale, peeling up from the bottom of the tailbone, coming up, bridge pose. So you want to keep the legs towards each other, push into those feet, and it might feel nice to bring the hands together behind the back. Breathe here. To come out of this, as you exhale, we'll gently roll down. If you have a block, we're going to do a supported one next. If you don't have a block, then feel free to do the same pose again. So inhale here, exhale, ground that lower back, inhale, curl up that tailbone, and we'll bring the block right below that uh, waist level, so right below the level of the pant line. You should feel like you can rest on the block. So you don't want it where it's stretching your lower back and you don't want it down on your butt. You want it where your, uh, that really flat part of your back is right below your, where your pant line might be. Breathe here. So if you're feeling really secure on the block, you, it's not tilted, it's nice and flat, might even want to bring it down to the lowest level here. Let's go ahead and bring both legs up into the air to come into an inversion. So again, I should feel like I'm really resting on the block. I shouldn't feel like I'm stretching my lower back. I'm just getting a nice support under my hips from that block. Breathe here. Let that blood start coming out of the feet. Two more breaths. And then gently bring the feet back down to the mat. Press into those feet to lift the hips up, removing that block. We're going to come into a shoulder stand. So if this is something that you don't feel comfortable doing, don't push it. Um, you can come into that same supported um, leg lift that we just did. So feel free to take that. If you'd like to try the shoulder stand, just a couple of things to think about before we go up. Once you're up in the shoulder stand, do not move your head from side to side. If you, you want to keep it facing straight up. If you feel like the lower neck or your neck is touching the ground and bothering you in any way, you can try to lift the chin slightly. And if that doesn't work, then just come out of it and take the legs up position that we just took. So, to start for our shoulder stand, we're going to inhale our legs up overhead behind us. And as you exhale, we're extending those legs straight up into the air. And then the elbows come towards each other. The arms support the lower back. Again, if you feel like your neck is touching the back, the back of your neck is touching the mat, see if you can just lift the chin slightly. Do not move your head from side to side and breathe here. If this is not working for you, you can take it a little bit lower, angling the legs down here, or you can drop all the way back down and take that same um, inversion that we just had with the block underneath the hips. Let's breathe here for five more breaths. Close your eyes and see again if you can focus on that third eye. And to come out of the shoulder stand, we'll bring those legs behind the head. And with as much control in your abs as you can, we'll slowly lower down that lower body. If you have to come up a little bit with the upper body, that's fine. Let's bend the knees slightly here and give yourself a moment or two just to come back to a neutral spine. It might feel nice to bring the knees, lean them in on each other here.
And we'll take a version of a supine twist here. So give yourself plenty of time to make sure that lower back feels healthy and released. Bring the feet out towards the outer edge of the mat. Inhale here. And then as you exhale, just let the knees drop over to the left. Arms can come out to the side. Gaze can come out over the right shoulder. If you want to go a little bit deeper here, you can cross the left foot on top of the right knee and you'll feel a nice stretch on that right hip. If that's too intense, right here is fine. Let's unhook that left foot. Inhale the knees back up to the ceiling and we'll exhale them over to the right. Same option here, crossing that right foot on top of the left knee to go a little bit deeper. Gaze can come out over that left shoulder. Unhook that right knee. Bring those knees back up to center. Now let's bring the soles of our feet together, letting the knees come nice and wide into our Supta Baddha Konasana, our reclined, bound angle pose. Breathing here for a couple of breaths. And you can stay here for your Shavasana, or feel free to extend through those legs. Letting the knees and feet roll open, palms are by the side, facing up, away from the body. And take a few last deep breaths here, pausing the video if you'd like to take a longer Shavasana. Let's begin to deepen that breath, wiggling those fingers and toes, wrists and ankles, and eventually taking a nice stretch up overhead, drawing the knees into the chest, and rolling over onto your side. And when you're ready, with eyes closed, pushing yourself back up to seated position at the front of the mat. And taking a couple more breaths here, focusing again on that intention and that spot between your eyebrows, your third eye. Being open and trusting your intuition, listening to what it's telling you. The light and good in me sees and honors the light and good in you. Namaste.